Hello, Story Wilson with RSW Solutions. We're going to go over some of the steps to troubleshoot the Allcoms version 2 device. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check that the hardware is being recognized correctly by the Windows environment. So go ahead and plug in your Allcoms hardware to your Windows USB port. You should hear that USB enumeration sound. If there's a problem, we're going to go to the Windows Device Manager and make sure that you don't have any yellow exclamation marks. This is the Windows Device Manager. The Allcoms device shows up under the Universal Serial Bus Controllers menu, and it is shown up as a USB Express device, and that's correct. That sh should be what you see. If I unplug it, it'll disappear. And if I plug it back in, it'll come back as a USB Express device. And there it is. So we're ready to proceed with working with the actual Allcom software. So now we go ahead and start the Allcom software. Make sure you have the most recent version. This is version 2.0.0.11, but it always changes. Every time you start the Allcom software, it'll check for an update. You can manually check for an update right here Hit by selecting under Tools, Check for Updates. It says checking for updates. We already have the latest version. If you're a version behind, it will download and install the update for you automatically. All you have to do then is close the Allcom software and restart it, and the update will be applied automatically. So we have the most recent version. Now, you've plugged in the USB device. We're ready to proceed. Uh, we go ahead and agree to the license. And the USB status is important. It says open, and there's a device ID down here. This means that the Allcom software can see the Allcom's hardware correctly, and we're ready to proceed to the next step. Next step, you go ahead and start your vehicle. Plug in the Allcoms device to the vehicle OBD2 port, and now let's attempt a communication session. So I usually try to communicate with something simple like the instrument pack, and we can simply go under instrument pack and click open. You should see transmit and receive going on, and there's a green link light. That does, or that's a good sign that we've communicated with the instrument pack. There's an, an additional sign is right here. There is an actual piece of data that was returned from the instrument pack. That's another good sign that we've communicated with the instrument pack. So the point here is that if you can communicate with one of the vehicle modules, then that means everything up to the vehicle is working. Your Windows environment, the Allcom software, the Allcom hardware is working properly. And that's, that, that's a good sign. If anything else, if these other modules don't respond, well, it's most likely it's not the problem. It's not a problem with the Allcom software. It's a problem with the vehicle. So if you still have a problem, you, you'll see usually an error light. An error light will come up over here in the bottom right-hand corner in red. So let's go ahead and close communication. So what I usually ask you to do is, if you're having problems communicating still, what I ask you to do is send me the log file. And how we do that is we go into the Tools menu, and we hit Store Logs. And what that did is that just stored the communication session that we just did in this video. And we hit View Logs. Now what you'll see is you'll get uh, a Windows Explorer. And here is the debug log file from today, January 29th. So I want you to copy uh, copy this file or just simply uh, attach it in an email and send it to me. And that's as simple as that, and that's what I need to further diagnose if you have any communication issues inside your vehicle, because it's important. There are some issues with the L322 Range Rover that can prevent communications on the diagnostic bus or on the, on the K bus. It's a known issue with Land Rover, and um, it's important to rule out any problem with the Allcoms before we start messing with the vehicle. So. If I ask you to send me logs, send me this file right here. It'll be debug log with today's date. And that's it. Hopefully you don't have any problems. So, thanks.